In this video, I'm going to walk you through VR180 post-production with a 6.5mm fisheye lens on the Sony a7 III using the ReLens plugin for Premiere Pro version 13.1. I shot 4K and I've decided to enable the Super 35 setting because it fills up the sensor more than the standard setting does, which means that the image will be a sharper resolution. And in this case, I don't mind that the very top and bottom of the circle are cropped slightly. I'll drag my footage onto the New Item button, which will create a new sequence with the same settings as the footage. But I'm going to open up the Sequence settings and change the aspect ratio to 4320 by 2160, which is 2 by 1, because we're going to be working with a mono 360 workflow at first. The VR projection will be equirectangular monoscopic. I've installed the ReLens plugin, so I'll drag ReLens to Latlong onto my footage. I'll open up the effect and set the projection method to fisheye equisolid to lat long. And for the view mode, I'll choose set circle over source, which I can see if I make sure the relens effect is selected. My FOV should be 180, and now I want to adjust the radius to match the outer edge of my footage. After some experimenting, I found that 0.345 is about right. If your footage is just slightly off center, you can tweak the center X and Y numbers here. When I shot without the Super 35 setting, I get the entire circle, but the image is smaller, so the resolution will be lower. At this size, I found that a radius setting of 0.265 was about right, but either way, you'll want to adjust for your own footage. I'll change the view mode back to result, and now this fisheye footage has been warped into the correct format for a 360 video. I can check this by adding the Toggle VR Video Display button to my toolbar, and toggling it on, I can look around inside my 180 scene. Since I only shot 180 and not the full 360, the sides are black, and I'll need to crop those off. But I can't crop this sequence or I'll mess up the re-lens effect. So, after I've made my edits, I'm going to drag this 360 sequence to the New Item button, nesting it inside another sequence, which I'll label Nest. Then, for this outer nest sequence, I'll open the sequence settings and make it a square, 2160 by 2160, with the FOV as 180 by 180. When I export, I'll check Video is VR, choose Monoscopic, and make sure both the horizontal and vertical field of view are set to 180. Then I'll export and upload to YouTube.